I really thank you all for allowing me to be here this evening. I think we're going to get to take some questions, uh, comments, insults. I will tell you. I will yes, we will. We, not the insults. We, we, well, we new, new Hampshire people are very respectful, I will say that, I, I would, based on my experience. But you're going to get hard questions, as you do for me, when uh, well, we, we agree on a lot of things and we go at each other on a lot of things. Why don't you hand that mic over to Alan? I'm going to turn this over now. We're going to ask you to get right to your question. We've still got Governor Buddy Romer uh, coming up. So if you would, your questions for Governor Gary Johnson. Alan, go out there. Why don't we take, uh, let's take this gentleman over here first. Here you go, Governor. Uh, corporate, uh, reducing corporate taxes, I think, is a great idea. <clears throat> but I don't think it creates jobs. I mean, with the with most homeowners having their house as their major asset, we don't get the housing crisis solved, right? So the consumer has more money to spend, has more money to spend, then uh, I don't think we can get this economy to recover. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on this, about recovering the housing industry. Well, I, I think that the government is, uh, so, is responsible responsible for the housing crisis in the first place, making making the money available at uh, interest rates that uh, were beyond uh, market interest rates. So I think they bear responsibility for that to begin with. I think if the government would not have stepped in and bailed out uh, bailed out the banks, that the, that, the, uh, that the downturn would have been steeper. That, this is free market. The downturn would have been steeper, uh, but I think the upturn, I think it would have been very V-shaped, and regardless of the shape, it would have been a V, but that, they, but that the uh, recovery that we were engaged in today would be real, and it wouldn't be a new bubble that has been created with, uh, with equities, certainly, and the fact the Federal Reserve is printing money uh, to cover uh, our our debt, our 43 cents on the dollar. I would abolish the Federal Reserve if I had the opportunity to abolish the Federal Reserve to leave it. I don't know what government can do about housing other than to get out of the way of housing and let the free market work and let us have the fire sale that we should have had from the very beginning. Okay, thank you, Governor. We have another question. Uh, thank you, Governor, for being here. Simple question. Where do you stand on gay marriage, abortion, and Second Amendment? So, uh, when it comes to uh, gay marriage, uh, I think that the government should uh, allow for gay unions, that the government should get out of the marriage business and leave marriages to churches. When it comes to abortion, uh, I support a woman's right to choose up until viability of the fetus. I signed a bill banning late-term abortion in New Mexico. I supported parental notification. Uh, I supported uh, counseling. Uh, I supported not using public funds uh, for abortion. And then the last one was uh, guns. Uh, as governor of New Mexico, going back to 1995, this was kind of cutting edge in 1995, was concealed carry. First of all, I absolutely support the Second Amendment, no ifs, ands, or buts. But in 1995, when I was running for governor of New Mexico, concealed carry was a big issue. I was the only candidate that came out and absolutely supported concealed carry, believing that it would actually reduce overall gun violence, and I think that statistically over the last 15, 16 years that has absolutely bore itself out, but I was able to sign concealed carry legislation in New Mexico. Thank you, Governor. By the way, for everyone in the back, remember the rules really do apply. I mean that, because I will call you out on the floor and make you embarrassed. All right, we have another question. Go ahead. Hello. Um, Governor, thank you for taking my question. Um, sadly, in this country, I believe we're approaching about 25% of our nation's children are growing up in single-family homes, single-parent homes. Um, the majority of those families are headed by women, about 85%. I see TV commercials asking fathers to step up and be fathers, and yet the pathetic irony of that is that across this country there are thousands of loving, qualified fathers who are relegated to positions of being visitors to their children even though they want to play a neutral role in their children's lives. I'm an emergency physician, and it took me five years of court mounting simply to become an equal parent to my children. Okay, everyone in the back, please listen for a second. It is very rude when you are louder than the question or the speaker. 
Am I clear? Thank you. I believe the family courts in this country need some drastic changes. Are you willing to step up and help fathers be fathers, the ones that are qualified to be fathers and want to be involved in their children's lives? Yes. Uh, as governor of New Mexico, I had a program uh, called Open Door After Four, where I met any citizen from New Mexico starting at four o'clock in the afternoon, the third Thursday of every month. What I came to find out in doing that program for eight straight years was, was that there are hundreds and hundreds of your kinds of situations where the court has ruled and because the court has ruled there's nothing that anyone can do. So this is an area that is really ripe for reform. I don't know if that reform ends up to be federal or if that reform shouldn't be states, but I understand the issue and have researched hundreds of these cases. Unable to do anything in any of the hundreds of cases because the court had ruled. Thank you, Governor. I'm going to give the lady the last chance for a question. We still have got Governor Buddy Romer to go. So, Jean from the Belknap County Republican Committee, what is it? I'm very concerned about what's going on in the Middle East, and I feel like Israel is being set up. And I'm worried that what happens to Israel, I've heard the communists I'm working with the is Islamic uh, extremists and first they want to get rid of Israel and we're number two. The Western world, capitalist system, okay? So we, do you support Israel? I support Israel. Uh, I do not support foreign aid. I do not support the notion that we're borrowing 43 cents out of every dollar and that we're giving foreign aid to other countries. We're borrowing money from China and we're giving it away to third world countries. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But I think it's important to distinguish between foreign aid and military alliances. Military alliances, I think, are key to our security and it's also key to the notion of being able to reduce our defense spending by 43% and still remain uh, vigilant to the war on terror worldwide. In that context, we are a ally, a military ally with Israel yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Thank you, Governor Johnson, again for joining us on this cruise.